Hello guys, Croft is here. In this video, I want to talk about my fellow android, Walter, specifically why his name is Walter. True Alien fans know that android names in Alien franchise follow an alphabetic order. Not sure for what reason it was started in the first place, but it became one of the main features of the Alien franchise. Ridley Scott is 79 years old and at this age everybody would start thinking about the nature of death and creators, so I think this is one of the reasons the focus of the Alien franchise shifts from xenomorphs to androids and engineers in order to explore existential themes. People expected the android and alien covenant to be named Eugene or something that starts with an E, but after discovering that the name is actually Walter, many fans were disappointed and thought that Ridley abandoned the alphabetical pattern that has been kept for more than 30 years. This is actually not true and I'm gonna explain how the name Walter perfectly fits into the pattern but in a more original way that a very few people would expect. In addition, the name Walter brings some specific implications for the future of the Alien franchise. In the original Alien movie, the android is named Ash, in Aliens it was Bishop, in Alien Resurrection there was a female android Call, then in 2012 Prometheus it was David conforming to the original pattern. But suddenly in Alien Covenant the new synthetic is named Walter. In fact, the alphabetic pattern has been already broken in Prometheus since Wayland's daughter is named Wickers, which starts with a V that goes exactly before W that stands for Walter. If you pay close attention, then you'll notice many clues that Wickers is in fact android just like David, which is actually an easter egg to the original Alien movie where nobody knew that Ash was a synthetic. Here are some main proofs that Wickers is an android. The medical pod in her apartment is designed only for men, which we discover when Shaw tries to use it. So that wouldn't make any sense for a female human to have it, implying that Wickers is an android. She seems to be physically stronger than an average human, which allows her to punch David against the wall so easily. Also, when the captain guesses that she's an android, she invites him in her room, either to prove that she's a human, or because Wickers feels that captain is blackmailing her and if she doesn't have sex with him, he'll tell the crew that she's an android. Ridley Scott himself indirectly confirmed that she's in fact a synthetic in an interview by saying that there might be two androids in the Prometheus ship. Speaking of robots, there is a rumor about this movie that there is a robot in Prometheus. Is this, is this accurate? Will you confirm that here for us today? That may be true. So why the pattern suddenly changed from David to Wickers and Walter? There are two explanations. The first one is from an interview with Ridley, but the second one actually explains how Walter and Wickers fit into original pattern. In an exclusive interview with a Digital Spy, Ridley Scott confirmed that names David and Walter is an homage to the producers of the Alien franchise that have been on board since the first film. David for David Geiler and Walter for Walter Hill, and it is a huge easter egg that links new Alien movies to the original one. The second explanation is more interesting and it surprised me that I haven't thought about it earlier. Many people expected the android name in Alien Covenant to start with an E so that the next android would be F and so on, but there's a flaw in this logic because it's very unlikely that producers would go through the entire alphabet making 26 alien movies all the way up to Z. In fact, W is the inverse of D if we count it from the end, D is the fourth letter from the start and W is the fourth letter from the end. And it makes perfect sense, not only it underlines that David and Walter look the same, but also that they have opposite beliefs, which is illustrated by the inverse position of W. 
if we take into consideration that Ridley said that he wants to make three more Alien movies to finally link the sequels to the original one, then the name Walter is a huge easter egg that indicates that there's gonna be three more androids for X, Y and Z before the franchise links back to the original Alien movie. As I mentioned before, the alphabetic pattern changed from the beginning of Alphabet to the end in Prometheus with Wickers, but not many people realize that. Since Ridley wants to connect the sequels to the original Alien, it would be really cool to get an explanation who was the space jockey and why the ship crashed on LV-426. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, check out the t-shirt that I designed, link in the description. If you buy it, I'll get a percentage of sales, so it's a really great way to support my channel. Also hit a like and subscribe for more alien content.